Welcome to the Game Week 4 recap video of the Ninja Skirtles. High score this week went to British v BVB. Congratulations, Richard. You got 53 points. Um, you nearly got the high score there. Um, two people uh, had 52 points. One was Fabulous and one was Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich had the unfortunate luck of playing you this week, which means that he lost narrowly by one point. Adding insult to injury, sorry Bayern Munich, you wild carded this week and lost by a point. I'm sorry, that's gonna hurt. But guess what? There are other game weeks left in the season. Um, a lot of time left. Low score this week was 21 points, went to Birds of the Word. Top five went like this. Placeholder beat Birds of the Word, Fabulous beat Panda Meat, even more promoted uh, beat Promoted, and Raheem Sterling Cooper beat the Weasels. Um, Daniel getting creative there yet again this week with his name being even more promoted than promoted and having the luck of winning. So congratulations, I guess. Stop changing your name. Stop it. <sighs> Next week, it is Placeholder versus Slacker. Fabulous versus even more promoted, although that will change because he's going to change his name. Raheem Sterling Cooper versus Pandemeet. Promoted versus Milner Light. Um, in the real league, Man City got the win over Watford. Pretty solid win. Sterling got his first goal. And Man City just splashed 55 million pounds, I think, for Kevin De Bruyne. Not really sure what that's all about. I guess he got a lot better after he left Chelsea. Anyway, they got him, apparently, for the Champions League. Crystal Palace, and I'm going in order here. Man City's still in first place. Crystal Palace now in second due to their win over Chelsea. Sad day. But hey, they deserved it. Um... Chelsea did not really play well. <laughs> they had poor defense. The good news for Chelsea fans is that Pedro is still um, looking really good. In fact, he looks so good that he can even get Falcao a goal. Um, I know I shouldn't be making jokes at the expense of my own team, but it's Falcao. The one thing I can say that makes me happy, though, is that it must have hurt extra bad for Man United because not only did they give us Falcao, they lost Pedro to us and apparently that combination can at least get one goal, which is more than Man United got out of him. Leicester, third place still is Leicester, managing to get the draw with Bournemouth. Um, if they'd had Mares for the second half, for the full 90, maybe they'd have gotten a win. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, they're still in third. Swansea getting the win today over Manchester United 2-1. Um, Gomez looks terrifying. I mean, that guy is incredible. He's on fire. Um... And I love his goal celebration. If you haven't seen it, Google it. He's like a lion crawling towards you to eat you. I don't even know. It's nuts, but it's awesome. Uh, Swansea looking pretty good. Manchester United also looked pretty decent, but Rooney looks more or less inept. Uh, are they going to get him some help? We'll see. Arsenal uh, getting some Manchester United kind of luck. And by that, I mean they won 1-0 at the expense of the other team getting an own goal. Uh, Kyle Walker, you didn't score this one on your own team. Uh, that was Fabio Colaccini. Liverpool lost to West Ham by three goals at home. It's not looking good. There was a red card for each team. This was not a good moment for Liverpool. West Ham, on the other hand, hey, um, maybe this is the season for them. They seem kind of roller coasty, but they mean they beat Arsenal, they beat Liverpool. I mean, they can just meet, manage to beat some of the lesser teams in between. They might be all right. Aston Villa, Sunderland tied um, in a 2-2 draw there. Stoke lost to West Bromwich Albion, um, but largely because they went down to nine men in the 31st minute. That'll do it to you. Uh, if you have to play a full hour with nine dudes, that's going to be hard. Um, sorry, Jeff Cameron. And that was you this week. Norwich went down to 10 men in the 31st minute, um, and then they lost 3-0 to Southampton. In other words, Southampton got their first win uh, of the season with a team that was newly promoted and only had 10 men. But hey, they got a win. Maybe they, that will jumpstart their season. Uh, Tadic and Mane and uh, Pelle looking really good. Tottenham tied Everton uh, in a nil-nil draw that saw Tim Howard um, back in that position of Secretary of Defense. The guy was incredible. Um, unfortunately, uh, sorry to see that nasty injury with Tom Cleverly. I hope he's okay. Next week, we have a 1v2 matchup. This is going to be good. Manchester City versus Crystal Palace. 
I'm not sure Crystal Palace is the team to take down Man City, but we'll see. Um, anything clearly, if this season has shown us anything, it's that, it's that uh, they're up for grabs. All these these games are up for grabs, um, with the exception of possibly Man City, looking like the only team that's really in command of things. Manchester United play Liverpool, and with that, signing off. See you next week.